Welcome to the SAP Business One Integration Framework series. In this session, I'm going to cover how you can unlock a deactivated B1I admin user after it was deactivated because of too many tries of incorrect credentials. And this may happen, you may forget your password at times um, and you uh, need to find a way to actually reset that. And uh, this could be done by changing the mode of your B1I integration framework to a safe mode. Now let's see how we can do that. First, let's um, make sure that we have a, a locked environment. So we can do that by opening your integration framework and I can you have a few ways you may already have the link or you can go to the start menu and click on the integration framework link here which will open your your Internet Explorer now keep in mind the recommendation is to actually not to use Internet Explorer but to use a Chrome for example to access your um, B1, uh, B1 integration framework so What I'm going to do is actually I'm going to use Chrome in, in my case. So let me open Chrome and I do have a link already here to my integration framework and you're going to be directed into the login screen as you can see here. If you try to log in and I try to use my uh, password. I'm getting now an error saying the user previously entered uh, has been deactivated. So my user is locked. Um, so in order for me to walk around that, as I said, let's change the mode of the Business One Integration Framework to safe mode. So in order for you to do so, all you have to do is you can go to the C drive, Program Files 86, the SAP Business One directory, SAP, sorry, directory, SAP Business One Integration Directory, Integration Server Directory, Tomcat directory, web apps, B1i accelerator, and here we have a file called accelerator.cfg. This file you will have to edit. Now keep in mind you will have to open the editor in admin mode um, in order for you to actually do any changes to the file. Let's search for safe mode. And as you can see here, I have my xsl.safe mode. What I have to do to change to a safe mode is to change that to true. And let's save. You see it tells you that you cannot save because you need to be administrator. Uh, so this will execute the editor as administrator and let's save that. And now we have a change. So I can close this here. What I have to do now is to restart my service so if you search for the SAP Business One Integration Service, you can uh, click on Restart, and the server, the Business One Integration Integration Service will start in safe mode now because the configuration is changed to safe mode. Has been changed to safe mode. Okay, so all you have to do now is let's click again on the link I have here for my uh, main entry to my uh, business uh, one integration administrative uh, login and first it will take a few, few more seconds and now it's going to log in. You see, it, it didn't ask me again for a username and password because I'm logged in a safe mode. Uh, in safe mode, you can just do administrative tasks. You cannot really uh, uh, do any uh, transactional tasks or running uh, any scenarios. Uh, so let's go now to my maintenance tab here.
and it's you see I have explanation here uh, because you're in a safe mode and you can see here the safe mode and, and notification um, the Nobi One I application is running so no package is actually being run uh, at, this pay, at this stage and uh, but you can access using a uh, web dev and uh, you'll be able to do some maintenance activities on the uh, B1i. So let's go to the maintenance, click on user administration. And here, um, first of all, uh, you can also uh, make sure that you have no uh, active sessions running, uh, which may uh, be an issue, or uh, this will allow you to kick off so you can click here on this on the uh, session control and if you have any user that is logged in uh, you'll be able to kick him out uh, as needed now um, in our case all I have to do now is to go to the admin users this is the have the B1i admin user and as you can see, his active status is actually false, meaning he's not active at this stage. Um, now, here what we'll be able to do is be able to change or toggle the activation to true, meaning the, uh, the user will be active and be able to log in if you know the password. If you don't know the password, you will also need to reset the password as well. So let's do that. Let's uh, click on toggle activation. And was initiated and as you can see now the active is actually true so the user is active and I'll be able to reset the password if you would like to I'm going to skip on that because I actually know the password so I do not be able to or I don't need to do so all I have to do now is to go back to your configuration file and change the mode of safe mode to false, meaning you don't want, you no longer need to run B1IF in safe mode. So now I change the configuration and again I will have to restart the service. Let's click on restart. And now you'll be able to click on the, uh, um, try to access again the B1i F. So I'm going to click here on my link here. And it will be, be directed to the login screen again. So now we are not, no, you're no longer in safe mode. So I'm going to be asked for the login credentials. So here I'm going to select my user and my correct password here. Login, I should be able to access because now the, lo the user is no longer deactivated and logged. And you can see I, I was able to log in to my Business One integration framework cockpit. Thank you for joining the session.